click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends in the previous videos we have studied various concepts related to dc motor using all these concepts we have to solve the numerical on dc motor in this video we are going to study how to solve the numerical on dc motor The numerical one is mentioned as follows a four pole wave wound shunt motor gives 10 kW when running at 1000 rpm and drawing armature current of 60 ampere and the field current of 1 ampere respectively it has 560 conductors armature resistance is 0.2 ohm assuming voltage drop across brush 1 volt per brush determine total torque useful torque useful flux per pole rotational losses and efficiency the applied voltage is 250 volts now while solving this problem the first step is to write down what is the given data so let us see what is given data if we read the problem carefully the given data is p is equal to 4 a is equal to 2 because it is mentioned that the armature of the motor is wave wound then output power p out is equal to 10 kw speed is equal to 1000 rpm ia is equal to 60 ampere if is equal to 1 ampere then total number of conductor z is equal to 560 ra is equal to 0.2 ohm now it is mentioned that the voltage drop across one brush is 2 volts hence there are total two number of brushes and the total voltage drop is 1 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 2 volt Let us see what we have to find in this problem. First, useful torque T L. Then second, total torque T. Then useful flux per pole phi. Rotational losses and efficiency. Let us see the solution for this problem. First, we have to find the value of useful torque T L. The formula for useful torque can be written as T L is equal to P output divided by omega m. Now we know the equation for omega m, which is given by omega m is equal to two pi small n. Here, small n is the revolution per second. We have to convert this into revolution per minute, which is equal to two pi capital N upon sixty. Substituting this value in above equation, we get E L is equal to P out divided by two pi n divided by sixty. Rearranging this equation, we get E L is equal to P output multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi n. Substituting these values in the equation, we get T L is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 raised to 3. That is our output power multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi into 1000 rpm. After solving this equation, we get T L is equal to 95.49 newton meter. This is the value of useful torque. Now, second, we have to find the value of total torque. The formula for total torque is given by T multiplied by omega m is equal to E into I A. Now we know the formula of omega m, which is given by omega m is equal to two pi small n, where n is the revolution per second. We have to convert it into revolution per minute. That is equal to two pi capital N upon sixty. Substituting this formula in above equation, we get T multiplied by 2 pi capital N upon 60 is equal to E into I A. After rearranging this equation, the equation for the torque can be found as torque is equal to E I A multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi N. Now, in this equation, we know the value of I A, we know the value of N, but the value of E is unknown. But we know the equation for the E M F, which is given by E is equal to V minus I A R A minus brush drop. Substituting these values, we get E is equal to 250 minus 60 multiplied by 0.2 minus 2. Solving this equation, we get E is equal to 236 volt. Now, substituting the value of E in the equation of torque, we get T is equal to 236 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 divided by 2 pi into 1000. Solving this equation, we get torque is equal to 135.22 newton meter. Now the next thing that we have to find is useful flux per pole. Let us see how to determine the value of useful flux per pole. We know the formula for generated EMF is given by E is equal to 
पी एन फाइव से डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी ए रीअरेंजिंग दिस इक्वेशन टू फाइंड द फ्लक्स वी गेट सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस टर्म्स वी गेट सिक्सटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू थर्टी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव सिक्सटी इफ यू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन टू सिक्स वेपर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड द रोटेशनल लॉसेस वी नो द इक्वेशन ऑफ पावर डेवलप्ड विच इज गिवन बाय पावर डेवलप्ड इज इक्वल टू रोटेशनल लॉसेस प्लस टोटल पावर आउटपुट इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द रोटेशनल लॉसेस वी कैन रीअरेंज दिस इक्वेशन एज रोटेशनल लॉसेस इज इक्वल टू पावर डेवलप्ड माइनस टोटल पावर आउटपुट Now the total power output is already mentioned in the problem that is 10 kilowatt. Hence, in order to find the rotational losses, we have to find the value of power developed. So the power developed can be given by power developed is equal to armature input minus armature copper loss minus brush loss. Substituting the terms, we get power developed is equal to V into I minus I square R A. Minus two, that is the voltage drop across the brush multiplied by I. Substituting the values, we get 250 multiplied by 60 minus 60 square multiplied by 0.2 minus 2 multiplied by 60. Solving this equation, we get solving this equation, we get power developed is equal to 14160 watt. Substituting this value of power developed in this equation, we get rotational losses is equal to 14160 minus 10 into 10 raised to 3. Solving this equation, we get rotational losses is equal to 4160 watt. Next, we have to find the value of efficiency. We know that formula of efficiency is given by efficiency in percentage is equal to output divided by input multiplied by 100. Now, the output power is already mentioned in the problem. Here, we have to find the value of input power. The input power can be found as input power is equal to V into I. Now the motor in the problem is DC shunt motor. In case of DC shunt motor, total current I is the addition of armature current and field current. Hence, we can modify this equation as I is equal to I A plus I F. Now the armature current is given as 60 ampere, field current is given as 1 ampere. Hence, the total current I is 61 ampere. Substituting these values. In this equation, substituting this value in this equation, we get input power is equal to 250 multiplied by 61. Solving this equation, we get input power is equal to 15250 watt. Now the output power is mentioned as 10 kilowatt. Hence, solving this for the efficiency, we get percentage efficiency is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 divided by 15250 into 100. Solving this, we get percentage efficiency is equal to 65.57%. Thank you friends for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda. Thank you.